Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at the back of a very different ESDA car here for today's spotlight. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So when I say different than other ESDA cars, that is because we're just staring at TSC Tom Speed's E36 Vert. That's right, Vert. How often do you see anybody driving a Vert or a convertible car? It's definitely not something you see a lot of people build, so it's definitely cool to see Tom Speed bringing out a E36 convertible. So definitely a big player in energy innovation sponsored energy innovations team team slide culture so it's definitely you know mad props to that because you, know, you know energy innovations you know big sponsor of myself and the channel so we are going to be taking a look at this car this car is nasty loud like that other 15 we had and the other different thing is this car is actually set up for a dog box style transmission. So my, I have my fan attack all switched up. So we're gonna go full send here at Forest Park and uh, just have a little fun with this car before we head to Irwindale. So cool, definitely to see the NRG Innovations Prism seats on there, Team Side Culture helmet, and of course Energy on the back of the bucket. So all the little details are definitely some cool things to see. NRG Innovations, steering wheel, and everything like that. Bring back the style. So we're gonna go full send on this car here for today. So like I said, the car is set up for a dog box. So we are rocking sequential up and down, which is definitely a very fun transmission to run in a competition car. So we're gonna see what we can do. I feel like this car is gonna need probably some gloves on so we're gonna put our gloves on because definitely don't want to uh, burn my hand on leather when that thing snaps not that it does not very necessary it's something I like to do so he did tell me to hit seven so he did tell me to hit option a so I believe yep we got some aggressive underglows in this car so we're gonna rock the underglows because well we all know I, uh, I definitely like my underglows. So I think this thing also has no lift shifting. Yep, with the dog's back transmission, no need for clutch to upshift or downshift, right? Nope, definitely an awesome transmission style. Same style I have in a lot of my comp cars and the new comp car that I'm building. Which you guys will see more here very shortly. So with all the support I'm getting with these driver spotlights of these ESDA drivers, that's why we're here for more spotlights this week. So we got a bunch more drivers, a few more teams and things to spotlight. So if you guys want to get your ESDA car and things like that on the driver spotlight, make sure you guys message me on Discord or Instagram and we can make that happen. Ooh. Almost wall tapped his vert. Go full send on the straight. This car is very stable. I'm definitely enjoying how this car is ripping. We are at Forest Park running out of competition tracks to run these cars at. So we're going to be going to look for more competition tracks. But I feel like this car is a, a style car. And we need to be uh, out throwing some style on a track. Like Forest Park, we are going for clips though. So do like the subtleties on his car. Like the GoPro on the roll bar and things of that nature. But... I'm definitely having a lot of fun with this car as we almost looped it. A lot of fun with this car because you don't see too many verts. So it's definitely cool to see him bring out an E36 vert in the competition. So a big ups to Tom Speed on that one. Bang that into fourth gear. Loving the transmission. Like I said, I have this style transmission in my comp cars. Oh, sorry, Tom. We kind of just totally wrecked your car let's see if we can't pull up our tires and see what kind of tires oh yeah we are almost dead on tires that did not take long to kill these tires on this track as you can see the grip load is definitely a lot different oh his passenger ah oh, his driving profiles on the wrong side okay well that's a that's a rip 
And we kind of just lost our lights, I believe, too, from smacking into the wall because we do have damage and everything on it. Our car's almost gone in the rear. Probably gonna blow up these, uh, blow up these boys and then head to Irwindale to see how this car does on the bank, which I feel like it's gonna do quite well. In it. All the clutch kicks, this car is insane when it's on red line. You can tell we're redlining in fourth and the car is starting to skate more because our tires are in the red for wear. These 160 tread wear comp tires do not last very long. Yep, there is the sparks. Starting to spark our tires, losing all kinds of grip. Just roasting in fifth. I've destroyed this car. This car is insane. It's a big thank you to Thomas Lee for letting me get my hands on this E36 Vert. So we have no tires, so we're gonna switch up to Irwindale where we have some fresh skins. And see what we can do. So we are in Irwindale on the banks, and we're gonna see what this car can do. We gotta not destroy our tires. So Irwindale's reflection of the bomb don't really show the on below, so that's unfortunate. But hopefully somebody can update that, or I can go in there maybe update the shadowing effect and things of that nature. Irwindale, no tuning setup, out of the rip, how we sent it. Let's go full send and use the no lift shift to our advantage. Oh, almost came out of that. Kind of fell off the bank towards the end. Probably should have went down the third. Yep. So this car is insane. We need to stay a little bit higher on the bank, but overall the no lift shifting oh, does help. We almost killed the wall there. The no lift shifting does help on run up because you're not having to get off the gas and go into the clutch to change gears and things of that nature. And a lot of the cars in FD are running that style of transmission, sequentials, dog boxes, things like that. So we're going to go run number two, trying to stay higher on the bank this time. Much higher on the bank. Probably didn't need a handbrake as much, but we're gonna rock third gear. So, once again, big thank you to Tom Speed for this opportunity to drive this vert. This car is insane fun right now, and I'm having a blast and definitely loving how this car is driving. I believe he said this was the first car that he did pretty much all himself. So, GG, sir, this. <laughs> E36 throwing on the BMW style, you know, rocking the BMW Pumas down here on these pedals. So you guys know I do like and appreciate a European car or a BMW. One more run for today's episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll drop in the description box below. Okay, we uh, I'm gonna bail on that. <laughs> we almost wrecked the car. I didn't want to totally wreck his car. Can't tuck up into this wall. There we go. Tuck it up on that wall to finish that inner bank off. So as always, I think you guys for coming back and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and you're enjoying these driver spotlights. I'm having a lot of fun with them, getting a lot of support from other drivers and stuff like that. Oh, all that hurt my wrists. So as always, I think you guys should come back and watching. Hot Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.